HIV antibody test using a rapid HIV card. Learning objectives. The student is supposed to be able to describe the test and the test principle and also be able to perform the test and interpret the results. HIV antibody tests are specifically designed for routine diagnostic testing of adults. These tests are inexpensive and extremely accurate. Most people develop detectable antibodies approximately 30 days after infection, although some seroconvert later. The vast majority of people, that is 99%, have detectable antibodies by three months after HIV infection. A six-month window is extremely rare with modern antibody testing. The first response HIV-1 and 2 card test detects HIV-1 and HIV-2 in whole blood, serum, and plasma. Principle The first response HIV card test 1 and 2 is an immunochromatographic rapid test for the qualitative detection of antibodies of all isotypes, that is, immunoglobin G, immunoglobin M, and immunoglobin A, specific to HIV-1, including subtype 0 and HIV-2 in human serum, plasma, or whole blood. The first response HIV-1 and 2 kit contains a lancet holder, a lancet, A clean alcohol swab. HIV card test assay diluent. And a pack which contains the test device. And a pipette for picking blood. The lancet is fixed onto the lancet holder and made ready for use. The lancet is used to prick the tip of the thumb and the blood is collected with the pipette and transferred into the sample well of the test device. Two drops of the assay diluent is dropped into the same well and the device is allowed to develop. Interpretation of results. A color band will appear at the section C of the result window to show that the test device is working properly. This band is the control band. The test results appears in the section T of the result window. The test band appears at 1 and or 2 for HIV-1 and or HIV-2. The presence of only one band within the results window at the control line C region indicates a negative result. If two color bands appear, one for control and the other for HIV-1, 
the specimen is reactive for antibodies to HIV-1. If two color bands appear, one for control and the other for HIV-2, the specimen is reactive for antibodies to HIV-2. If three color bands appear, one for control C and the other two for HIV-1 and HIV-2, the specimen is reactive for antibodies to HIV-1 and 2. If no color bands appear in the control region within the stipulated time, then the result is invalid.